soils which are fertile produce good quality crops while those that have poor fertility or they have lost fertility produce crops which are of poor quality it is therefore important to increase the quality or the fertility of the soil so let's discuss fertilizers now these are what we call the organic manures they are artificial uh, manures which are artificially obtained in factories they contain specific nutrients which are released very fast and are absorbed by plant roots nutrients are divided into two groups this include either micronutrients or macronutrients the micronutrients are required by plants in small amounts for example zinc iron copper boron among others like manganese chlorine and molybdenum we have micronutrients which are required by plants in large quantities, for example, sulfur, potassium, phosphorus, magnesium, calcium, and others like nitrogen, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Remember, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen are components of air so plants obtain them from the atmosphere hydrogen is obtained from water so plants can obtain it from the soil moisture now fertilizers are divided into two groups one they are what you call the straight fertilizers these ones contain only one major nutrient the nutrients may be either nitrogen phosphorus or potassium Examples of fertilizers that only have nitrogen, which are called nitrogenous fertilizers, include urea, calcium ammonium nitrate, what we call CAN, sulfur of ammonia, which we call the SA, and bone meal. We have straight fertilizers that only have phosphorus, and we call them phosphatic fertilizers. And they include one single superphosphate, which we call the SSP. We have the diphosphate that we call the DSP. We also have the phosphate that we call the TSP and bone meal. We have those that contain only potassium. And they are called potassic fertilizers, for example, sulfate of, our, of potash and muriate of potash. The other group of fertilizers include the compound fertilizers, which contain two, two or three major nutrients, or simply more than one major nutrient. They are also called mixed fertilizers and they include monoammonium phosphate, what we call the MAP, the diammonium phosphate that we refer to as the DAP, and the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium fertilizer, which is simply referred to as the NPK. These fertilizers have advantages. One, they are easy to transport. They are easy to store, so they are less bulky. They are easy to apply in the, in the chamber or on the crops. They also release nutrients very fast and they contain specific nutrients. These advantages include, one, they are expensive to acquire. They pollute the environment if used in excess, and lastly, they do not improve soil structure like the manures do. Uh, is all about the fertilizers, what we call the inorganic manures. Thank you for watching.